All right, so now on the next one, what we have here is 18 is 13% of what number? So again, ladies and gentlemen, we need to go back. Again, go back to, well, all right, 13, what is our 13%? And again, guys, a lot of the time trying to um, rationalize and make sense of it, let's again just look at our proportion and just fill in what are the things we know. Part percent, 100%. Part over whole. So if they're asking, if they tell us we have something that's 13%, well, I'm going to write that in there. So we know one thing's 13%. We, it's out of 100%. And then it says 18. Well, is 18 going to be a, the part or the whole? The part, right? We already did a problem where it's the whole. So we'll have x be our whole. So again, what we can look at, Taylor, is again applying cross multiplication. All right, And getting back to this again, we have 18 times 100% is equal to 13% times x. Now, ladies and gentlemen, again, there's multiple different ways that you could go about this. All right, um, you know, as far as dealing with the percentages or not, um, I mean, multiplying it with all those zeros is not going to be that bad. But I think what is uh, easier is just to divide everything. Actually, never mind, it's not going to matter. It's going to be the same thing. So let's multiply this to 1,800% equals 13% x. And again, we want to figure out the whole. So I need to now divide 13 into 1,800. So let's go back to our long division. All right, how many times does 13 go into 1,800? Well, 13 doesn't go over to 1, so we go to 18. 13 goes into 18 one time. 1 times 13 is 13, sorry. Then we subtract 18 from 13, which is going to give us 5. 13 does not divide into 5, so we bring down the next 0. But 13 does go into 50, and it goes into their 26 three times. Three times 13 is going to be 39. Where did I lose you? So all I'm doing is again, as long as I can have you from here, you've set up the proportion. C apply the cross product. I'm solving for x, so I'm dividing by 13%. So I need to do 1,800 divided by 13. 13 does not go into 1. 13 goes into 18 one time. 1 times 13 is 13. 18 minus 13 is 5. 13 does not go into 5, so I brought back the 0. 13 goes into 50 three times. 3 times 13 is 39. Subtract them. I get 11. 13 does not go into 11, so I bring down the next 0. Now, how many times does 13 go into 110? Eight. Not until I'm done. Eight. Um, 8 would be 24, would be 8 would be 104. So it goes in there 8 times. 8 times 13, in case you're not following along, 24. 104, so 104, then I subtract these two, and I get 6. 13 does not go into 6, and I ran out of zeros. So when I run out of zeros, I put the decimal, decimal point, and then that gives me a bank of as many zeros as I want to do. So now I bring down a 0, and I say 13 goes into 60, um, and 4 times, which would be? 4 times um, 13 would be 50, 13, 26, 52. All right, and we'll just do one decimal point for here. So x equals 138.4. So 18, 18 over 138.4 is equivalent to 13% over 100. Also, Taylor, you can just see with that one how it's much more difficult to do rather than just doing something in your head, right? That problem? And obviously, 